Hi everyone, I'm here at the Port of Port Townsend Boat Haven and Shipyard. Port Townsend is home to several hundred boats, along with a number that are here visiting or undergoing repair. I have conducted a survey of all the anchors that were visible to me from the public docks and yard areas. I'll note that I did not board any vessels or conduct any interviews of the vessel's owners. I simply counted all of the anchors of a particular type, and in the case of anchors that have been copied heavily, I went ahead and lumped those copy anchors in with the originals in a single tally. I also made a notation whether or not the anchor was aboard a pleasure vessel or power. I'll note that the boats range up to about 75 feet. However, the boats that were under 25 feet typically did not have an anchor visible. That's fairly common to stow smaller anchors in a locker or down below. Uh, they're easy enough to launch and retrieve by hand. I counted a total of 383 anchors with 265 of them aboard sailing vessels and 118 aboard power. Most vessels only had one anchor visible on a bow roller. For the vessels that had two anchors visible, the vast majority of those second anchors were also located on a bow roller. However, a sizable number had a secondary anchor mo mounted near the stern. Sailing vessels were far more likely to have a second anchor than power craft. So as we run through the statistics, I'll show some examples of the anchors that I found. By a large margin, Bruce, CQR, and their copies were the most popular of the anchors. The 103 Bruce anchors represented just under 27% of the total, but the distribution between power and sail was not equal, as only about 21% of sailboat anchors were Bruce, whereas a whopping 39% of powerboat anchors were Bruce. Conversely, the 96 CQR anchors counted, that's 25% of total anchors, were heavily favored by sailing craft. 32% of sail anchors were CQR, but only 7% of powerboat anchors were CQR. My guess is that the long, narrow stature of CQR anchors makes it a better fit alongside a typical sailing bowsprit, and perhaps not a good fit in powerboat bow rollers that typically have less overhang. Again, that is all just a guess. The next most common anchor type was the Danforth. I included steel copies and did not include aluminum fortress anchors. I counted them separately. There were 51 Danforths, or 13% of total, and they were fairly evenly distributed between power, 15%, and sail, 13%. This was by far the most common stern anchor, but there were a considerable number of Danforths located up on the bows. I will note that these most common anchor designs have been around for about 50, 80, and 90 years. The next most common was the Rollbar Rockna anchor with 41 examples counted, or 11% of total. This anchor is more likely to be found on sailing boats than power. 12% of sailing anchors were Rockna, and about 8% of power. The Delta anchor was the only other anchor with a sizable presence overall. I counted 36 examples, or 9.4% of total, with a distribution favoring power of about a 12% over sale at 8.3%. None of the remaining designs had more than 2% of total. That said, it is no wonder that all five of the old-fashioned fisherman anchors were found aboard sailing vessels, as these cumbersome anchors almost require a bowsprit or other overhanging structure, a rare feature on powercraft. There were seven spade anchors, or 1.8% of total, all of them steel, I believe. Five Fortress Anchors, five Mantis M1, five Stockless, these all had 1.3% of total. 1% of total were Vulcan Anchors, with all four examples found on sailing craft. This is interesting because the manufacturer has marketed this anchor specifically towards power boats because it has the potential of being a better fit on the platform bow rollers that are common to power craft. There were four Sarka Excel anchors, all of them steel, and four of these what I call pivoting fluke style anchors. Three Ultra anchors were found, three Manson Supremes, and one Mantis M2 was spotted. Only a handful of other anchors were found, but I could not remember their origin or name. 
Well, that covers it for the pleasure vessels. Port Townsend's also home to a sizable chunk of the Alaska commercial fishing fleet. And when they return for the winter, perhaps I'll continue this survey. Okay, I really appreciate everyone's interest and donations to my anchor studies. This is Steve Goodwin. Good day.